I'm going to tell you this word of God is going to blow this year. And remove from your life, if you will put it in, it will remove all the chaff off. There is a revival of the word coming, guys. A revival of the word where this becomes most precious. Well, Jesus, you can take my sled. A little vintage antique sled. And, and Lord, you can take those snowshoes. But you're not getting this one. I get to keep this. Amen. All the other things don't mean anything. This, this is everything. The true nature of your flesh, when wind hits it in the spirit, is bare. Suddenly you're exposed. Who, Jesus, I didn't know that was in there. Every attitude, every judgment, all your idle words, God begins to expose it in you and says, get that rid of that. What do you think you're doing with that in there? You're not allowed to have that. Spirit of God is comparable to the wind because of the variety of operations. Have you ever felt the wind of the Spirit blow in a service and you felt like you wanted to tremble? Yeah. Or the Spirit of God would begin to blow and you would just cry. I was staying crying. Spirit of God would begin to blow and someone who says, Yeah, Jesus! You go, Ooh, boy, she's loud. <laughs> Spirit of God begins to blow on somebody and suddenly repentance comes on them and they fall on their knees. God save my life. Save me. I don't really care if I have any pride left because you can bring that up too. Take that too, Jesus. <laughs> Spirit of God begins to blow and all of a sudden somebody gets healed. A sign and a wonder happens. Or there's a soaking where you just don't want to leave his presence and you got to kick people out of church and tell them to go home. And they don't. So you just lock the door and say, go home when you want.